<sighs> big yawn, excuse me, but I ran out of time and I did not wash my brushes. So most of these brushes, I'm gonna have to just like use a color switch or something, but hey, it's real life. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I've done like a life update here on the main channel. I've actually been posting a lot more to my vlog channel, especially because of the somewhat shit show that 2024 has been so far. So I've got some updates on how just my life has been, how my job has been, how the apartment situation is going, and you know, some crazy things. Like we just had an earthquake here in New Jersey, like a couple days ago. So crazy shit's been happening. So we're gonna do my makeup and catch up. I'm gonna have everything I'm using listed down below just in case I forget because I'm, I've got like a list of stuff I wanna cover today so I could get lost in a story and just forget about a product. So I'll have it all listed down below. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is like a newer version of like my current everyday go-to look. Um, I wanna use my Pen The Palette, which I believe the update for my Pen The Palette should have gone up before this video. But I really wanna use like the darker like green shades for a look, cause those are the looks, or those are the shades I have not really used for like a work look yet. So I wanna do that. And then what we're gonna do is like my new face, not my new face, but the new way I've been like target powdering um, for my makeup application because I went from doing my normal like full face powdered everything down to like a few months ago like leaving everything dewy and just like leaving it for the day and then I like looked in the viewfinder one day and got the worst ick <laughs> and just I looked sweaty that's what I thought I looked like so now I've been target powdering so I'm gonna show you how I do that now and what I've been doing lately all right this is probably gonna be a really long video so if you haven't already you should get a snack get a drink get comfy or speed this up listen to it like a podcast while you're going about your day doing your chores let's jump into it so first up I laminated my brows a few weeks ago and they turned out like really good I was in like a rut with how my brows were turning out I'm gonna use the elf poreless putty acne fighting poreless putty primer as a primer today because I've been dealing with breakouts down here they're getting a lot better now but this is just like the best primer to use when I'm breaking out that way I feel like I'm still like taking care of my skin while wearing makeup. So yeah, I eliminated my brows. I filmed it. I'm a few weeks behind in the vlogs now because of what we'll get into later, but I was filming a vlog, so I filmed the whole process. I almost massively messed up. I almost massively messed up at the beginning, um, but they turned out really nice. So now this is like, I wanna say a month in, and they still like, I had to brush them up like this, but they still look nice. And I like how fluffy they look and it gives them better shape. Like I was, I feel like for so long I was in this rut with shaping my brows and I didn't want to keep over plucking them. So actually I need this side to grow in a little bit more because I think I over plucked a little bit like towards the center, but I love how this brow looks. <laughs> I mean, everyone has a favorite brow, right? This is my favorite brow. She looks good. So since I'm gonna go in with a lot of like dark colors on the eyes, what I like to do is to go in like with foundation first on my forehead and then do my brows, do my eyes, clean it up a little bit and then do the rest of my face. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because it's getting to be that time of year. It is warm, it is toasty. And by that, I mean um, our radiators are still on. <laughs> I think today it's like in the 50s and our radiators are still blasting heat. I found out a way to like turn them down a little bit, but ultimately we live in an apartment and that's not up to us. And I understand that they wanna blast the heat so that none of the pipes burst, which is understandable to an extent, but I don't wanna live in a sauna. So I have shade 105 and that's like nearly like a perfect shade match for me, I love it. And side note, I just love the new packaging on this. It's so cute. Love the teal accents and everything. Look how cute that is. Just really like that. Oh. Put that to the side because we're going to use it again in a little bit. Okay, so what should we start off with? Start off with the na Nightmare Neighbors. <laughs> Actually, I have a window open. <laughs> Let me go shut that before I start talking shit. Okay, all windows are closed. We're good to Bochinche now. So if you missed, I think, my makeup vlog and then also the last update for my Panda palette or the first update for my Panda palette, I talked briefly about my apartment situation. Um, I didn't go into full detail because I kept it to the vlog channel. So apologies, if you keep up the vlog channel, a good amount of this will be kind of repeat, but I have some new updates that are gonna come on later with the later vlogs that I'm currently behind on. So new info right here. I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Airbrow. Um, and I love now that they're laminated, I really just have to do a little bit of filling in, like mainly on the arch. Cause I feel like I need to let the hair grow in a little bit more just to get that as fluffy 
as I want, but overall, like, the shape is there. So anyway, Nightmare Neighbors. In January, we got new downstairs neighbors. They are a grandmother and a grandson. Um, and as we confirmed not too long ago, the grandson's not on the lease. It's just the grandmother. And she is 90 years old. And she's a chain smoker. So she's just been home all day, chain smoking away. And it's not like weed because, you know, I don't mind the smell of weed. Smelling weed smoke doesn't trigger my migraines or anything. These are the nastiest, like, closest to cigar cigarettes you can find. And it's constant, constant, constant. And it's been just wrecking, <laughs> wrecking my life since January. Because if you don't know, I work from home. And it's all day. So, I, I, like, at the very beginning, I was just, like, constantly sick. I was just having migraines. I was like the first week I was like throwing up. I was nauseous. It was gross. And we called the office to complain because honestly, I didn't think smoking inside would be allowed in 2024. But nope, they made the lease vague on purpose so that people could do it. So they said I could keep calling and keep complaining, but ultimately they had rights too. And that's what they kept telling me. They're like, they have rights too. They have rights too. And I think I understand because now that I know a bit more about the neighbors, I could see why maybe the office was a little defensive because I called them like a week after they moved in. So from what we found out about them, it looks like it's just the grandmother's name on the lease and I think it's co-signed. I'm not gonna dox anybody, but I believe it's co-signed by a nursing agency based out of New York. And it's specifically, I'm not gonna be in the hospital, but it's based out of a hospital in New York. So it very much seems like social services came in and helped this woman get an apartment and co-signed on the lease with her. So it's just her on the lease co-signing with this nursing agency and then the grandson lives with her. They also have a little dog that I only hear sometimes. So I don't know if he's here all the time, but I just feel so bad for a dog in like that chain smoker apartment because if it smells this bad up here, it's got to be horrific downstairs. So anyway, I've been documenting everything. We've been trying to find ways to mitigate the smell as best as we can. Um, it's a really old building. So, um, I forgot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before I get lost in the story, I'm gonna start on my eye look. But it's a really old building, so, uh, there's a lot of cracks in, like, the floors, and, like, the radiators are all connected, because it's one big townhouse, and it, it's just been, like, nightmares. Though it's gotten slightly better as we found, like, actual ways to help with the smell, like, ozone machines, and... Uh, certain air sanitizers or canned ozone can help as well. So anyway, lately, I want to say like a week or two ago, we saw an eviction notice get posted on their door. And it looked like it was posted for early March. So they got an eviction notice early March, or like the first notice was sent to them early March. I'm assuming they never responded, because ultimately at the end of March is when we found the notice on the door, um, they actually had to, like, I saw the guy from the office, like, he had to come up, tape it to their door, take a photo of it to, like, I guess prove that they had actually delivered the eviction notice. And it's not necessarily, like, an eviction notice. It was one of those, like, legal documents that was, like, um, the intent to file or the intent to sue for eviction is essentially what it was. It said that they were going to, um, have a court date scheduled soon and that, uh, they were, it was the intent of the apartment company to kick them out. And that's how we found out about the grandmother being the only one on the lease because it was a publicly posted document and it said it was supposed to be publicly posted and it had her name and then like the nursing home on it or the nursing agency on it. Um, the only thing is I have no idea when that court date is going to be. Um, I've tried looking up because they had the court docket number on the paperwork, right? Um, so I've been trying to check online. I don't think it gets posted until the case is done. Um, and it's supposed to be, and I believe, I don't want to dox the court, so I, the court, how do I put this? <laughs> My husband is in that courthouse a lot for business reasons, and he knows that they're backed up a lot. So we don't know how soon they might actually get a court case and whether or not the eviction will actually go through. Um, I feel kind of bad because part of me like feels bad knowing that it's this older woman who could be put out, you know, of her home. But the other part of me says fuck it because she's chain smoking and making me sick constantly and she should be evicted. And the reason for the eviction from part of the paperwork anyway is that apparently they have not paid a dime in rent since they moved in. Fun. Who would have thunk people that 
treat apartments terribly and avoid all neighbors and chain smoke in there all day. Like, oh no, they're bad tenants. <laughs> Again, I'm so salty. I am so salty and I am so petty. But here's the thing. Lately, I have not been smelling the smoke as badly. So I don't know if they are like spending less time here or if they've kind of already left. I'll have to see during the week, because it's the weekend, so I've noticed the last two weekends, it seems like they've been gone. Um, and I've only been dealing with like the lingering smell from their apartment and not constant new smoke, if that makes sense. Um, so this is a Sunday that I'm filming this, so I'm gonna see what it feels like the rest of the week, because I have no idea if they're still like living there full time anymore. Um, cause you can barely hear them. I gotta say one thing about the, this building is that the walls are pretty thick for the most part. You can only really hear people if they yell, which our old neighbor used to, but I liked him. He was nice. He would only yell at sports games. So it actually made me feel better knowing that he was like alive. <laughs> um, and then if you're in the doorway, so like if you're like right at your doorway, your neighbors can hear you, but I kind of expect that. All right. So I like these colors. So I just used the two green colors from the Sweet Peach palette. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up the edges. Even if like best case scenario for us happens and they get evicted, um, I mean, I'll take the win and that I won't have to deal with it. Cause I've like, before this year, honestly, I didn't even have that many migraines. Like a bad migraine for me would be like every few months. Whereas now I've been tracking my headaches and migraines and just overall like pain if every few days I've been getting one and it's a combination I think of stress but then also just all the secondhand smoke that we're getting and we've got like air purifiers I've got air filters everywhere I've got ozone machines everywhere it's just miserable so if I don't have to deal with this for the next few weeks until or next few weeks next few months until we move it would be so nice okay they are slightly uneven let me see I'll try and fix it Okay, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> there we go. And that's kind of why I like doing the top half of my face because I've been leaving my concealer unset and just target powdering and I'll show you that a little bit later. But in order to do like a look that has a lot of fallout in it, I just have to do that look first and then clean it up before we go in with everything else. So yeah, even if best case scenario, they get evicted, we will still be moving at the end of the year. Because <sighs> if I didn't mention it before, they moved in like a week or two after we, we renewed our 12 month lease. So we were a little bit screwed. Like to break the lease would have been about five thousand dollars and then to get a lease on a new place would be probably with the rent prices around here probably minimum five thousand to pay first month's last month's rent or first month's security deposit would probably be around five thousand dollars so ten grand to move if we didn't have to do it we didn't want to you know and i told alvin you know we'll get the filters we'll do everything all the air purifies we can and if it's manageable we'll stay but if it gets any worse we will break the lease and we will move. Um, and also part of me, like I said, petty. I don't wanna give them the money <laughs> just because I, I'm pissed at how we were treated. Honestly, like like I can't, ima I can't explain how frustrated I was when I called the office and I was being treated like, like I was nuts. Like I, feel, I felt like I was being treated like the unreasonable one for complaining about having secondhand smoke come into my house constantly. It's just, oh my god. Yeah. So anyway, the less I have to deal with the office, the better. And we will be moving. The good news is that there's a bunch of really nice buildings in this town, like nice apartment buildings. And the rent isn't that much more. We're paying a decent amount in rent. Um, so I'm excited. I'm getting to the point where I'm excited to start looking at places to move. And now that like we're prepping for it, it's going to be so much better now that we know that we're going to be moving. Because before the idea of having to suddenly drop everything and move was stressful. Um, but now that we've got like the forewarning and we can plan, it's, it's, I'm trying to get excited about it. There's two buildings in particular I was interested in and, and what, what I really want is to upgrade to like an actual building. I've got this Ulta color corrector in yellow. I'm gonna use a little bit, you know, I've never used a yellow color corrector on my under eyes, um, but I'm surprised at how much I like it. So I kind of want to try other yellow, ye yellow, <laughs> other yellow color correctors. So anyway, there's a few uh, apartment buildings in this town and I really want to upgrade to a building, like a big apartment building that has like a gym and security and a front desk and a mail room. I just think that's the best fit for us right now because ultimately we kind of wanted to stay here until we could afford to buy a house. But I don't know if you guys have seen the economy lately. 
an article came out in our state that said in order for like a person to comfortably afford a house, you have to make $150,000, which spoiler alert, even combined, we don't make $150,000. <laughs> um, so while we're saving for a house, it just doesn't seem realistic in the next few years. So, uh, we would have liked to stay here. Like this apartment, it's, it's old. It's not terrible, but like before the terrible neighbor situation, it was manageable. It was okay. I was even thinking about doing some little DIY things to cover up the parts of the apartment that I really don't like, like the shitty drywall. <laughs> but now that we've got those shitty neighbors, like there's no, it's time for us to move on. So the goal is going to be to upgrade to um, a nicer building. And the good news is that there's like two really nice buildings in our town because we all say we love this town. We love the area. It's just this apartment sucks. <laughs> um, so there's two new buildings. One just opened this month and the other one has been open for like a year. Um, and one we know we can definitely afford and the other one is a bit more pricey, but we're going to see what they have available. Because essentially, like their very lowest priced apartment is within our budget. Uh, so we'll see. I will film when we start apartment hunting. I'm excited to actually film another set of moving vlogs because my moving vlogs from our move to this apartment. Like, I look back on a little bit bittersweet knowing how excited we were for this place. But ultimately, I know it's just like, what's the saying? It's not rejection, it's redirection. This isn't necessarily rejection, but I'm trying to see it more as a positive. Like, we've loved this place. We moved in for the first time here. We got engaged here. We got married here. But it's ultimately, I think this is like a sign that we just need to move on. It's time for us to like, I don't want to say upgrade, probably upgrade, right? But I, just, I feel like we've done and we've learned all we can here. And it's time for us to kind of take the next step for us, the next chapter for us. Okay, so I'm not gonna take the foundation all the way down because I don't know if you can see, I've got a little bit of an irritation right here. I found out that um, I've been using the Amlactin Lactic Acid Lotion on my arms and my legs and it works really well there. My neck hates it. It really irritated my neck and I accidentally got some on there last night and so I've been dealing with that. So I'm gonna try and ignore that and continue on with the rest of my face. So yeah, fingers crossed um, those neighbors move out safely and calmly with no issues <laughs> and we can start planning for our move. Oh yeah, I forgot to say when. We're looking to move in the fall just so that we have some overlap between when this lease ends and our new lease beginning just so that we're not rushed to do everything all at once. So we're probably looking to move like in October or November. And make sure you check out the vlog channel if you haven't already if you wanna um, see those moving vlogs as I start them. I'm probably gonna start them over the summer. We wanna start like touring buildings in the summer and just seeing what units are available then. All right, let's move on to some work updates. So I also think I briefly mentioned in a previous video that in January, actually the exact same week that the shitty neighbors moved in, uh, my company did a huge restructuring and a large round of layoffs and our team was very negatively affected. And I've been through a few layoffs at this company, but like the good news and the bad news is that my department was a skeleton crew essentially for so long. And since we were already a skeleton crew, like there was nowhere to make cuts. So while there had been a few restructurings and change ups, it never really directly affected us. Like it directed some people I knew over the years. I don't know, it, it sounds a bit callous, but like I understood how terrible it was for other people but it was never effectively like directly affecting like friends of mine colleagues of mine our direct team until this January so they did the restructuring and my honestly my best work friend was laid off she was at one point she was my manager but then after a restructuring we became almost we were on the same team, we reported the same person, so we weren't necessarily equals because she had a lot more experience than me, but she was definitely like my best work friend. Like she was the person who I looked forward to getting to work with every day. And we spent last fall, like September, October, November, December, working our butts off to prepare for like a better 2024. Like essentially we're both project managers and we're trying to like revamp the program that we're working on to just be like better run better organized better tracked like um just doing everything we could to prepare for like these projects 
and like we did all this prep work and we were feeling really really good about 2024 and then like these layoffs came out of nowhere and that's the other thing like usually for other layoffs you hear whispers you hear rumors and stuff nada there was nothing about this it just completely came out of the blue so since then she left and her position like we got three days with her before she left which i understand because she could have stayed longer but it would have been to her detriment because she really needed to just leave and start taking care of her and her family um but if we barely had time to hand over her tasks and stuff and so like me and another colleague basically had to split everything she was doing and do our best to keep our heads above water for the last few months and that meant that i was doing way more than my standard workload which sucked <laughs> because i essentially kind of became like like this, I saw these memes, I don't, maybe I'll throw some up here just for shits and gigs, but there were just memes about like when you accidentally become important at work and that was like me because with her departure, I suddenly became the person with like the most experience in the department for our specific like portfolio. So I wasn't like the most experienced in years or like job specifically, but like in our specific portfolio working with our specific partner, I suddenly became the SME and it sucked <laughs> it sucked i suddenly had to like do a lot more on my own and we never backfilled my old position until that week as well so we got a new ea a new assistant started so i had to try and onboard her take on the work from my laid off colleague and then before we knew the layoffs were going to happen i had committed myself to helping out another team with some work like some low level admin work but it was like a, a good amount of work um, so I didn't want to break my promise and my manager kind of told me I still had to do it. So I was doing that too. So I had so much extra work. I was so stressed. Like, and, and to be frank, I am still kind of really stressed. Um, but it's gotten better. I love these elf blushes. These elf blushes are so pretty and they blend out so nicely. I specifically had to like put them away in my collection so I would stop using them and start using other blushes again, but I pulled them back out. I... Just love these blushes. They're so pretty. Oh, this is a contender for like best product of 2024. Definitely. So anyway, we've got layoffs. We've got extra work. And my manager told me that I was going to take on all this extra work, but that promotions would be in the works for March. This was back in January. So basically I had to take on all this extra work and there was a possibility that I would get a promotion in March. So March came and went and my manager was able to get me a promotion, but I, d I still don't even know what my title is because my manager went on vacation and we never, my promotion was effective April 1st, but it's, we're like a week into April and we still haven't announced it yet because my manager was out on vacation and I don't even know what my actual title is going to be. I know what my internal like level is, but we never agreed on the title. So I think we have to meet with HR next week. To say like okay hey what's my actual title now and then also it's not i don't want to sound greedy but it's not as much money as i was really hoping for which is a shame because like i feel like while it was really really tough at first i'm learning a lot and i feel like this could still be a good spot for me like the growth potential is still there career wise but man i can definitely see why people because it's a kind of a running joke that people at my company um leave and then come back and then leave and then come back and they do that because apparently that's like the only way to get a decent promotion is if you leave the company and come back as like a new hire again because if you're internal and you just wait for the year over year promotions even if you like knock it out of the park it's minuscule absolutely minuscule and so while the pros here's the thing I've had issues with the workload and stuff before, but at every point in time that this has happened, the pros have far outweighed the cons of the position. Just the benefits, the flexibility, the work from home option, the, the just overall, it was still like a really, really good position. This is the first time since I've worked here and I've actually, I've worked here for six years, which is the longest I think I've worked anywhere. It's the first time where I don't think the pros outweigh the cons anymore. So um, I still haven't gotten a paycheck yet with my new pay. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be that much different. But I'm holding 
holding my judgment until I see one or two paychecks come through at the new rate. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's a shame. I mean, I worked my butt off. I, I went above and beyond and you know, sometimes you can do everything right and it still doesn't work out. So at least for now I'm staying. Um, I honestly don't quite know what the future holds, but I still, I, like I said, I still like the benefits. The benefits are still like the best and I'm not gonna like jump ship anytime soon. But I am definitely keeping an eye out to see if there happen to be any other listings. But again, it would have to take a lot to get me to leave this position and move to a new one. So I don't think I would be willing to jump ship unless something like very like perfect came through. And you know, maybe I'll talk about this on the vlog channel. I don't know if you guys would be interested, but I was thinking of doing like some more upskilling and I don't know if there's a way I could just like combine my YouTube experience with my career so like my project management experience and maybe I could take a few courses and I could get into like something more marketing related social media marketing I don't know but those are just a few ideas that came to me while all this was happening so I brought up by accident a little bit of that yellow color corrector too far but I kind of like it it, it kind of matches the eye look. I needed like something very bright for my inner corner. Do I have, I don't know, I think I have a highlighter palette with a bright green in it. Hang tight. Oh, sorry, babies. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I've got the ABH Moonchild Glow Kit. This thing is ancient, but it's got a green shade in here. So let's try that. <sighs> That's perfect, it looks so pretty. There we go. I love that. But overall, hey, that's life, isn't it? And I feel like I jinxed myself so badly because if you go back to like my Pan That Palette intro or like my early videos, I just said that all I wanted in 2024 was a nice calm year where I could stay at home. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I jinxed myself so bad. Anyway, speaking of a nice quiet year at home, um, we got an earthquake on the East Coast, like a few days ago, and everyone lost their damn minds. <laughs> I honestly, let me let me tell the story. Okay, I'm going to start Target powdering. So let me show you where I'm gonna powder. I've just got the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder, um, and my husband opened the bottom because I was getting to the point where I couldn't get any more of it out. So I've got a little bit of a janky setup here, but I'm gonna just use a powder puff and Target powdering my chin, I go up my jawline and I get my nose. The rest of the face, I'm good kind of leaving. Like if the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, ultimately it won't look as dewy as if I were to use a different foundation, but I'm trying to avoid these lines because I've noticed that as I'm getting older, powder settles in them pretty badly. So try to avoid those, try to avoid the upper lip if possible and just powder down here. So anyway, so yeah, we got an earthquake on Friday. So I was working from home. I had just woken up Alvin. He was off on Friday, so he slept in. I think the earthquake hit at like 1030. So I had woken him up at 10 and it was like right before a meeting I had. So I was sitting at my work desk prepping for this meeting and suddenly I hear my desk start just like shaking and I hear like my laptop wobbling and I feel everything moving and honestly, my first thought was, what the fuck are the neighbors doing? <laughs> I thought it was the neighbors doing something wild. And then my next thought was, is there like a gigantic truck going down the street? What the heck? And then I got up after it was done. I got up and walked around. I was looking outside and I didn't see anybody else doing anything or, you know, I was just kind of like weirded out. Like what the heck just happened? And I walk out and I talk to Alvin, who's still half asleep drinking his coffee. And I'm like, did you feel that? And he's like, feel what? And Rex didn't respond at all. He was just sitting there with Alvin. And I was like, okay, I must have just imagined it. Um, so I go back to work and I start that meeting. And in the middle of that meeting is when I start getting texts and phone calls from all my friends and family. And I get the news alert that says 4.8 earthquake just hit from New Jersey. So I finished that meeting and I start getting back to all my friends and family. Like my best friend was texting me. Her sister actually was at work and they had to evacuate the building when it happened. 
Um, I think she was in the city. And, you know, thankfully we're okay, but I heard that there were some buildings in Newark that actually got damaged from the earthquake, even though it was only a 4.8, I say only a 4.8, but for us, like, we never get earthquakes here. I think the last earthquake we could actually feel on the East Coast was in, like, 2011, and that was, like, a little itty-bitty earthquake, but, like, this, like, I, I felt it. I felt it. It was wild. So anyway, after I got the alerts on my phone and everything, I took my phone and I shoved it in Alvin's face and I was like, aha, I was not crazy. We actually did get an earthquake. <laughs> and he was just like, huh. So yeah, that's all I target powder. So that's kind of what I've been doing for my base lately. So now I would just soak this with setting spray. You know, I can't believe I've been doing makeup for like 10 years and I've been on YouTube for like seven years and I've never heard this tip, but it's changed my life. Um, Clear brow gel on the lower lash lines to prevent smudging of your mascara. Legitimately works, and I've never heard this tip before. I think Caitlin Costello mentioned it offhandedly in one of her videos, and I was like, oh my god, how have I never heard that tip before? Life-changing. Totally works. Especially now that I'm not um, powdering my concealer. I love how my concealer looks just kind of uh, dewy and that if I do get creases I can just kind of pat them out um, life-changing so now I'm gonna go in with my Mac fix plus fixing spray and then my Scandinavia makeup finishing spray and this is how it looks post setting spray like the powders just meld together nicely we've got like a nice dew on the cheeks and a little bit on the forehead a nice little glow so yeah this is how i've been liking to have my base lately and i totally forgot to add eyeliner so this is a little mini of the tarte fake awake eyeliner just in like a pale beige color so that earthquake hit at like 10 a.m on the friday 10 10 30 so I had to work the rest of the day and then we had to run out grocery shopping and I don't know if this is going to give away my age, but I was excited to get out of the house and go to Costco for like shopping and date night because we haven't eaten at Costco. I don't think I've ever gone with Alvin, honestly, because we just got a Costco membership this year and I used to go with um, my fam my family like all the time. I've got the Shop Miss A Flawless Jet Black Mascara. I love the applicator on this. It's just so fluffy and gets my lashes just to look so nice. So anyway, I was excited to go to Costco for a date night. <laughs> so as we're heading to Costco after work, um, we almost hit a deer. Because I guess all the animals were shaken up, no pun intended, by, <laughs> by the earthquake. Um, and I've been dying to get him to like pull the dash cam footage from our car, because we do have a dash cam. Um, just of it because we were so close. Thankfully, we didn't hurt the deer. The deer wasn't injured in any way. Our car wasn't messed up. It was really close though because I could have sworn I heard like we stopped right in front of the deer and I thought I heard the deer just like kick our car. But no, everything was fine. The deer was fine. We saw it across the street to go to its friends and go eat some grass at the soccer field at the school that it was going to. But um, it was pretty scary. Mister. So we had earthquake, we had that, we got to Costco, we did our shopping, and as we're sitting down to eat our Costco pizza, I get frantic phone calls and emails and text messages from like friends and family about an aftershock. Apparently the first earthquake was a 4.0 and then the next one it was like a 4, no a 4.8 was the first one. The next one was a 4.0 actual aftershock and we didn't feel anything. We were in Costco, which actually now that I think about it, would have been one of the worst places to be if a big earthquake hit because everything would have just anyway uh, <laughs> new fear unlocked but yeah we were just sitting in costco he was eating his chicken bake i was getting my costco pizza and we apparently had a aftershock um and after that we decided to call it a night and just head home because crazy shit was happening i feel like that's like the theme of 2024 it's just like crazy shit be happening it's 2024 <laughs> Doesn't help that it's also an election year, so hmm. I just want the rest of the year to like chill the fuck out. Oh yeah, we got the eclipse. I'm filming this right before the eclipse happens, so like people are freaking out, like between the earthquake, the eclipse, everything. All the conspiracy theories are going crazy. 
but I just want a calm, peaceful rest of my fucking year. If I could, please. <sighs> so I have this Summer Fridays lip balm that I think could look nice with this look. Let's see. I gotta cut this open, it's almost out. I know I've always been against bougie lip balms, but this year I've had to eat my words a little bit because I love the Summer Fridays stuff. And this is the final look. So yeah, I hope everyone is having a calm, safe, peaceful year so far. Let me know down below how it's going. Um, I'm just happy that ultimately Alvin and I, we are safe, we are employed, we are happy with Rex. <laughs> Rex is doing good too. I'm actually filming this on his birthday. Little baby, little baby turns nine today. We have a nine-year-old Corgi. He's the best. He's actually, he's got his own YouTube channel. I barely post shorts to that channel, but if you're at all interested in watching cute videos I take of Rex, you can check out his channel. And I think that's it. So thank you guys. Listen to me rant for however long this video is. Looking at it now, I think I've got like an hour of raw footage to go through. <laughs> so I have no idea well, how long the actual video is going to be, but thank you for those who stayed to the very end. If you did stay to the very end and watch the whole thing, leave the, what emoji should we leave down below? The no smoking emoji. Isn't that still an emoji? It's like the no smoking sign, the non-smoking sign. <laughs> see if you can find it and leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.